and welcome back to Bookish Theories. In today's video, I would like to talk about Gifran's Crossroads, focusing on a little breakdown and analysis of the lyrics and the storyline portrayed in the music video. This is Gifran's first comeback since Source Music was acquired by Bakehead, and you can already see some callbacks and possible connections with both BTS and Tomorrow But Together storylines. For the time being, it looks like these connections are used more like a setup for what's to come rather than actual proof that their storyline will actually interact with one another. So today, we're gonna focus on G-Friend and their story. Now, in many respects, Crossroads is the perfect continuation of the storyline that was already introduced in A Tale of the Glass Beat. In the trailer, we are told that the girls grew up together, they were friends and happy to be with each other. But things change when they go on a journey and a magical lake gives them powers. While each of them are happy with their abilities, they cannot help but feeling envious of the others. And because of this envy, the girls end up fighting and get separated. The trailer ends with them wishing to go back in time as they stand at a crossroads, and the title track actually takes off from there. Following the events of the trailer, Crossroads is a song that deals with the themes of regret, memory, and their desire to reconnect with one another. As the lyrics describe their sorrow and disbelief regarding the mistakes they made in the past, the girls here use music as a medium to find each other in the labyrinth they are lost into. In the song, the focus is on a singing star, a guide, if you will, that is visible in the sky and that they use to interact with one another as they try to find a way to meet again. Judging by the lyrics, it seems like the labyrinth the girls are stuck into is a dream limbo of sorts, where time is still and they end up in the same place despite their effort to go back and forth. If you look closely, even if the song is called Crossroads, the lyrics never mention it and the girls never meet. And this is because right now, the story is still unfolding. Despite their desire to be together and fix the past, there is still no resolution to their problem. And the video further reinforces this idea by showing the girls constantly trying to reach out but failing in the process. This is a concept that was already foreshadowed back in Rough. In that song, the girls describe themselves as parallel lines that try to approach but keep on missing one another. And Crossroads seems to reprise this concept by describing a time loop where they go back to fix the past but end up making new mistakes that keep them apart. Now, as it always happens when it comes to time travel, things can get very confusing very fast. So in order to get the sense of what's going on in the video, the first thing that we need to do is to understand the basic rules they are following and continue from there. If we look at the MV in relation to their past songs, there are some recurring symbols that tend to stand out. On the one hand, we have the butterfly, a symbol of change and transformation. Then we have the clock, which obviously represents them going back in time. And last but not least, we have the glass bead, which is a symbol that is also featured in BTS and Tomorrow By Together's videos. Now, the glass bead is very important here, because it's an object that G Friends has been using since their debut. In Glass Bead, the girls compare themselves to the bead, stressing the idea that they are not as fragile as they seem. And in Fingertip, when the girls look at them, they appear inside of the beads, thus suggesting that the object is a symbol of their identity. In the story, the glass beads are the girls themselves, a representation of their power, their connection and their inner selves. But in Crossroads, we see that Una's bead is turning black, thus confirming that the issue is yet to be resolved and that they have to hurry before it's too late. This is where time travel comes into play. Now, in the video, Una is once again the protagonist. Much like Jin in BTS's storyline, she seems to be the one in charge of going back in time in the attempt to fix their relationship. But as we see in the video, things are easier said than done. At the beginning, the video opens with Una reliving the same scene we saw in Fingertip. Right off the bat, this is very important because the visuals not only suggest that Una is able to go back in time when she sleeps, but also that time travel takes place when the girls interact with the butterfly. 
As I mentioned earlier, the butterfly is a symbol of change, so it makes sense that in the story the animal is used to signify a change in the narrative. As the video progresses, however, we also see that Una has three butterflies in a case. This implies that it's not the first time that she has done this, but the third. And the fact that there is an empty space suggests that she only has another chance before everything is lost. This idea is also confirmed by the glass bead turning black and by a specific scene in the second half of the video, where we see Una actually time traveling in three different eras. Now, this part is very interesting for a couple of reasons. On the one hand, we see that every time she time travels, the destruction that surrounds her gets worse, thus reinforcing the idea that their chances are running out. On the other, however, this scene is so cool because if we look at the styling of her hair, we can actually trace the videos where she travels back in time. The first time that happens is back in fingertip, which is also confirmed by the ending of the video itself. The second time instead is during Time for the Moon Knight, where we see the story jumping back and forth between them being together and them getting separated, while the third time is the one that we see in Crossroads, which once again appears to be a failure. Much like what we see happen in Time for the Moon Knight, the timeline here jumps from the happy past to the sad present, and the main conflicts seem to be between Yuju and Unji and Shinbi and Una. While Soon and Yerin don't seem to be involved, they still look affected by the others fighting, but by the end of the video the narrative doesn't offer any resolution. This could imply that in the future we will see Una going back for the first time in the last attempt to fix the past. To know whether she will succeed, however, we'll have to wait and see. In the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please think about liking and subscribing. As always, thank you so much for watching guys, I'll see you next time, bye bye!